Hello everyone! Today we're going to look at successful live ops templates inspired by Supersonic and the game they published, which is called Merge Minus. Merge Minus is a hyper casual game monetized mainly by ads with just a few inner purchases to remove ads. And that is why it's especially interesting for investigation because it shows how even a hyper casual title can use live ops to better engage and monetize their audiences. As always, I will use Balancy as a platform to implement these examples in your game. So let's start with the first template. Uh, and one of Merge Miner's A-B tests was around the interstitial ad strategy. Initially, Merge Miner's team showed an interstitial ad every 20 seconds. But Supersonic team suggested they test the timing, so they tried a version where they showed an interstitial ad every 90 seconds until users passed a certain level. The longer users played, the shorter the time between ads became. By level 30, they were seeing an ad every 30 seconds. Now, let's go to the Balancing Admin panel and implement this tactic in a few clicks in your game without touching the code of the game and without touching JSONs. You can always start from scratch and create your own visual script for this task, or go to the template section, select the template you need. This is the one. I've already installed it here, but if you haven't installed it, just press one button, install the template, and that's it. You go back to the script section, this script will appear here, so you just view it and boom, all logic is ready for you here. So as you can see, this script has four variables. Uh, it has the minimum level of a player, maximum level, which is 30. It has maximum period uh, in between ads, which is 90 seconds, and minimum period between ads, which is 30 seconds. And now let's see the logic of the script. First of all, we're launching a check on which level our user is. If the user is uh, less than level 10 in the game, uh, so we put them on this path uh, and we show them interstitial ad with the maximum period, which is 90 seconds. If users uh, do not comply with the first condition, they go to the next check. And here we check uh, if a user has level more or equal 30, we navigate them here and show the minimum period between ads, which is 30 seconds. If they do not comply with these both conditions, we navigate them with a third path. Uh, and here you can see a very interesting formula. This is linear extrapolation. So basically it means that users that are between level 10 and 30, uh, we are gradually increasing the frequency of ads for them. Uh, so it will be very natural and they will not see much of the difference. That is it. So now I want to show you a couple more examples um, that I've noticed in this game as well. So probably you're familiar with this kind of chain offers that you often see in casual games. Uh, I brought here examples from Monopoly Go and from Royal Match. And um, as you know, first of all, in Chain Deal, you give some people free, some free rewards, then you offer them to pay for these rewards. This is how a Chain Deal works. Um, in Merge Minus, uh, developers are taking the same logic, but they're making ad focused chain offers, which is interesting. Uh, so instead of offering you to buy something for real money, uh, they first giving away rewards for free, then they also give them away for free, but uh, you have to watch an ad for this. So it's an interesting twist of how you can adapt this chain offer to the ad monetized game logic. And I would like to show you how easily you can create such an offer in Balancing. So what I'll do, I'll go to the offers and items section and I'll create a new offer with the game offer group template. I'll select the name for this offer, it will be Mega Merge Madness. And I'll start filling in it with the content, with my offers. So first of all, I'm offering something for free, which will be a golden ticket. As you can see, it's free. The next will be a gift box. There'll be five gift boxes given away for watching one ad. 
and final offer in this chain will be gold so my players will receive 100 gold if they watch one ad just don't forget that you should choose here chain deals in that case uh, your players will be able to uh, buy or claim the next offer only if they bought or claim the previous offer in the chain that's important and this is how it will work in your game and the third template that i wanted to show you is a wheel of fortune so uh, to improve engagement in the game to improve the satisfaction from the game give some positive emotions for players um, um, merch miners uh, are making daily spins and giving away rewards for free so you can get different content like a golden ticket a gift box some gold some shovel um, by spinning a wheel daily and balancing can be really helpful uh, for managing the content that is given to the players and again we have a template for this so you go to the template section you select the necessary template which is wheel of fortune mine is already installed that is why I have it in here in my documents. So this is a template for Wheel of Fortune in Balancing. As you can see, it gives you two different Wheels of Fortune. One is available for players that uh, have level less than 10. Uh, the second Wheel of Fortune is available for players that have reached level 10. But it's up to you. It's totally customizable. So you can, for example, delete the second Wheel and make one Wheel for everyone. Now, it's time to fill it in with your content. So in my Wheel of Fortune, instead of giving away gold only, I want to give away some gift boxes. For example, five gift boxes. And I might give away some brick blocks. There will be 50 of them. I'll give a shovel. Usually it's just one shovel. And let's choose a golden ticket also one and here to the right you can also define some weights so the chances that your player is going to receive this reward that easy so this is how you manage uh, game content in balancing and wheel of fortune is just one example of managing this kind of content remotely so i hope you found this video useful uh, if you do please give a like and i'll see you in the next video Bye.